A deadly school shooting in a Denver suburb. An 18-year-old student was killed. Eight others were injured at the STEM school, Highlands Ranch. The school is located less than eight miles from Columbine High. It was one of the schools closed last month on the 20th anniversary of the Columbine massacre amid security concerns. Police say two suspects are in custody. Let's bring in CNN's Nick Watt now with the very latest. Nick, good evening to you. You have been following this all day. What happened? Well, a regular Tuesday lunchtime at a school in Colorado and two young men got deep onto that campus, according to the sheriff, and shot in two different locations, shot eight of their fellow students. Now, we are told that there is a sheriff's deputy, a substation just a block away from the school. So deputies were on this scene within a couple of minutes as they walked onto the campus, as they ran onto the campus, they heard more shots ring out. And we were told by an undersheriff earlier that when those deputies got onto the school property, they saw these two suspects engaged in some kind of struggle with members of the school, unclear whether they were staff or students, whatever. We're still waiting to hear on that. Those two suspects were then taken into custody. One of their homes is right now being searched by authorities. And you mentioned Columbine, only seven or eight miles away from this school. Now, the sheriff said that today the quick action of those deputies really helped. And that is partly because everything changed after Columbine. It used to be that authorities stood back, set up a perimeter. Now they go in. And the sheriff today saying that quick action, he believes, saved lives. Don. Just an awful situation. Nick Wad, thank you for your report. I want to bring in now Colorado Governor Jared Polis. He joins us uh, on the phone. Governor, Thank you so much. So sorry for what happened, but we appreciate you joining us here on CNN and, and explaining to... Well, you know, Don, I wish, wish I was on under different circumstances. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, America mourns with the victims' families, and certainly Colorado does. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it's what a, what a tragedy for everybody that it impacted. Yeah, terrible. Do you have any new information that you can tell us about the victims? Well, no, there's one confirmed uh, fatality, as, as I reported an 18 year old male uh, others are in the hospital in, in varying conditions and there uh, we're all praying for their rather for their welfare through the mm -hmm. night you know as we look at this video it's just of the students trying to comfort each other and they were you know out of school as they ran out of school it is heart-wrenching how are people at Highlands Ranch in that area how are they doing tonight well you know this is a um, this is a upscale community it's a uh, science, technology, engineering, math, charter school. Uh, really, many friends are friends of, of mine and people we know uh, attend this school. Uh, I think so many are relieved to find their children safe. I mean, if you saw some of the video of the parents, you know, running to the, the center to uh, arrange to pick up their kids afterwards, um, the, it was done in an orderly way. The kids were moved to the pickup site. Um, the system worked in that sense. Um, and, of course, um, ha if, if not for the courageous and prompt response of our first responders, uh, the situation could Absolutely. have been far more tragic than Abs it was. Absolutely. What, can, you, can you tell us anything new about the investigation? Well, no, it's an it's a ongoing investigation, as uh, Sheriff Spurlock has done a, a terrific job with this, uh, said in his uh, most recent um, press conference, uh, because the, the suspects are in custody and it's an ongoing investigation. Much of the information will be referred to the DA for likely prosecution. So um, in many of these situations, as you know, Don, the, um, the suspects are either killed in the process or killed themselves. Uh, in this one, we do have uh, confirmed two suspects that have been apprehended uh, and will almost certainly be prosecuted with multiple witnesses uh, and, and, and strong forensic evidence that's being investigated. You know, as I um, as I introduced you, I talked about you know about the anniversary and and uh, what's going on in Colorado, the for the fourth school shooting in Colorado since Columbine, 20 years ago. What are your are your constituents saying anything to you? Because I would imagine if this if this happened so much in a community that um, people would want some answers and they would want some corrective measures. What are they saying to you? Well, you know, it was only, I think, about two weeks ago uh, I attended in the 20th uh, recognition of the Columbine tragedy. And what many of the surviving students today, they're now young men and women in their, in their 30s, uh, you know, did is they established a day of service 
Uh, and we hope a national day of service. It's uh, communities across the country where people take the, the day of one of the greatest school tragedies uh, in our nation's history, Columbine, and they dedicate it to making their communities better. So uh, this is a strong community. People in Colorado are strong. Uh, and I know that it's these kinds of events that bring us all together uh, across, you know, any, any divides that we have, geographic, racial, political, uh, all of Colorado, and I know all of America mourns with the families, and I know that those who are in the hospital, uh, all of our thoughts and prayers are for their full recovery. Um, I second that. Thank you, Governor Polis. I appreciate that.